scotch with your buddies at the old Irish bar. Oh, I can hear it coming out of your mouth. Listen, punk, I know who you are. You probably have it on the news. His Irish bar. What are you against Irish? No, I'm saying I know where you go drinking, buddy. I'm part Irish. The point is, don't try your race baiter on that either. I know how you pea brains operate. Because that's what works on the public is simple, dumbed-down propaganda. I was having a meeting last night with a top national psychologist. I'll just leave it at that. And some top lawyers. They were talking about that. They go, how do you tell the truth that's complex and the general masses can't interface with and fight people that just tell laws, uh, you know, walls of, 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 of simplified lies? And I just said, you got to show people the, the, the hat trick. You got to show them how the scam works. And if they ever get it once, they don't go back because now they know the trick with the rabbit. The rabbit's really in a secret door being put up through the floor into the container. And then they just open it up on the table he's in. And, the, you know, the hat has a trap door on it. And they reach down into the box and pull the rabbit up through the hat. Now, you can't explain that to a two-year-old, but by the time they're four years old, you can explain to your son or daughter when you take them to a magic show, you see that box, that table, there's a hidden compartment with a rabbit in it that he loaded in there. And then he's going to show you the hat, fly it around, put it down on the table, reach down through, grab the rabbit, and then pull it up out of the hat. And then your four-year-old sees it and gets it. That's the secret to this show is that we're simply showing people the hat tricks and explaining how the games work and what happened historically. And that's the only way to beat tyrants. It's the only way to be aware of how things operate. It's the only way to change the paradigm is to get outside the propaganda they put out and the fake rah-rah, Coke, Pepsi, Redskins, Cowboys, uh, Ford, Chevy, fake debate and pull back outside the box and outside the arena and see the whole thing for what it is historically, the social engineering they're engaged in, and then you'll laugh at yourself for ever being part of it. And I know most of you as an audience understand this and fully get this, but I'm talking to new audiences out there that are tuning in that don't understand this. It's a fact the Democrats were the party of the Ku Klux Klan. It's a fact they were a party isolated only uh, to the South. It's a fact they figured out that wasn't working in the 20s and started the Rockefeller Foundation trying to infiltrate and take over the minorities, but to get them domesticated on welfare to reduce their population. Then you expand out to the 50s and 60s, the Democrats openly say, we've got to become the party of the minorities and race bait from every direction because of demographics, because the Republicans are totally annihilating us because they're the party of Lincoln and they're actually unifying the country. We can't have this. And I read you, President LBJ, saying that it'll be Reconstruction all over again and these blacks are going to get real freedom under Eisenhower and people like my grandfather who got out of World War II, later ran for office as a Republican in East Texas and supported desegregation. So you got to understand, folks, that's the type of things that go on in this country. And whether you're for segregation or not, I know a lot of you old Democrats, you're Grand Dragons and stuff, you know, you're slick enough to go out and act like you care about the minorities and you run their lives now. And it's pretty funny to you. I don't think it's funny living in a balkanized, dumbed down country. I really want to try to empower everybody. But people like Schultz, you know, know exactly what they're doing. Whether he's down at the old German bar, down at the old Irish bar, making jokes about the minorities, I'm saying hypothetically as a joke, you know, I'm, I'm teasing. But just so many of the old Democrats are, are you, you know, their whole world is race baiting. They're experts on it. They come from the big cities where everybody lives in their own neighborhood and everything's racial politics. And they're just deploying that now on a larger scale. And they're arrogant and they're pushing our buttons and it needs to stop. And it's the same thing they did a few days ago in Raw Story where they said Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones, Democratic Party, now KKK, but with minorities. In the short clip they played on Raw Story that they then played on Schultz, they edit out where I say they were the party of the Ku Klux Klan. Demographically, the president said that they had to shift to minorities because the Republicans were beating them. They cut all that out and just have me saying they're the KKK, which sounds outlandish. We're going to skip this network break, please. Which is outlandish to the average dumbed down Democrat out there who doesn't even know that the earth orbits the sun, literally. And who will sign petitions in Austin, Texas or in California to put gun owners in FEMA camps and execute us. I mean, we, we have those men on the streets we've done and Mark Dice has done. That's how dumbed down and crazy these people are.
on their welfare check with their bag of marijuana. They watch TV all day and, and you know, eat sugared cereal all day. I don't care if they're black, white, Hispanic. They don't know what planet they're on. And they will pull the lever to take our guns, anything else, as long as they get that welfare check. And that's 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 the demographic change of the slug-like population out there. And that's the game over of the Cloward and Piven welfare domestication program. And they don't care if it wrecks productivity and wrecks the country's future as long as they're in control. And they're doing an incredible job. And they're this close to winning. If there isn't an epiphany and a giant awakening to the hat trick and the scam that they're running, it's over, folks. You better pack it up and go to Switzerland. I wish there was some other quasi-free country out there. This is a serious situation, and I know you know that. But, but listen again to Ed Schultz with his tiny audience say that Tucker Carlson, that's all over the weekday shows with commentary to three, four, five million people, all over the weekend show with two, three million viewers, huge website reaching millions of people a day, and he's a part-time nobody, and notice what they said in Raw Story. Tucker Carlson, Alex Jones, Democratic Party, now KKK, but with minorities. Fox host Tucker Carlson appear on Right Wing Conspiracy Theorist radio show Friday. Wait a minute. They changed this. I want you guys to go into the stack of Sunday's news. It's over there and pull me the printout. They took out of here where it said Internet only. Oh, my gosh, because I, I ran it about this. I was listing stations from Austin to Knoxville, from Southern California to you know Chicago, from Rochester to Buffalo to Tampa, Florida to, I mean, you just name it, just over 160 stations. And they were saying I was internet only. It's always minimized. Lie, 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 lie. And I was just reading this and they took it out because they just reprinted this for me. So the point is, this is what they do. So now Tucker Carlson... See, that lie didn't work. So Tucker Carlson, he's a part-time guy. He's a failure. You know, he went out and started his own website and is more successful than MSNBC and CNBC's website combined. He's a nobody. And Matt Drudge, by the way, whose site's, you know, 50 times bigger than The Daily Caller, uh, he's not successful. He's only on the Internet, okay? So, so if you did something completely on your own, you're even more unsuccessful than some failed guy from talk radio like Ed Schultz with tiny, just ridiculous audiences in failed network after failed network lecturing us how we're nobody. See, it's all about projecting this reality that they're big and we're small and they're liberal and we're fascist. And ha, 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 Democrats and Republicans, uh, you know, being connected uh, to, 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 uh, you know, to, uh, you know, political manipulations and race baiting. Both parties do it. Just the Democrats are the originals. Acting like abolition wasn't the party of Lincoln, the Republicans. Acting like the Republicans didn't pass the Civil Rights Act against the Democrats' wishes. Acting like we don't have all these letters from Democratic operatives and presidents about trying to keep the N-words down. Acting like all, they can only do this because the general public is ignorant. They're not dumb overall. They know all about football, all about acting cool, all about the latest movies, all about baseball cards, all about cosmetics, all about having mimosas with their girlfriends at Sunday brunch. Everybody knows about everything except how the world works. And that's a recipe to be a bunch of slaves. Let's go ahead and go to the Ed Schultz clip. Here it is. And in Pretenders tonight, the outrageous pretenders. Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson. See, he's really the pretender. Carlson and Jones say they've blown the hood off the Democrats' KKK movement. Part-time news host and 9-11 truther join forces to bemoan the white man's persecution. We all have been conditioned as Republicans or as Libertarians or as white people to be, oh, my gosh, we're loving, you know, we're not racist. Yes, please, you know, uh, do whatever. I'm sorry, I'm white and beat ourselves with whips on the head. And then meanwhile, the Democrats have just recreated the Ku Klux Klan movement, but they've done it with minorities. Yeah, there's a lot of truth in that. I wish there weren't. The federal government takes sides and hands out spoils based on your skin color. Really? Their contention is divided between racism and baseless comments. Americans of all colors receive government assistance. Jones and Carlson would love to race bait away the data if these two talkers believe a KKK caper is the winning strategy. They keep on pretending. All right, folks. So there you go. And I was actually able uh, to pull it up on the YouTube channel where I showed screenshots of it. 
uh, the original uh, article uh, where they uh, came out on Sunday and said that I was an internet only uh, radio show. Uh, and now Raw Story didn't retract that. They just took it out of there and said, I'm not internet only. And again, the reason that's so funny is that it shows how delusional they are. It says Fox News host Tucker Carlson appeared on right wing conspiracy enthusiast Alex Jones' internet only radio show Friday. Now, uh, there it is on screen from the video Sunday when I covered it on the TV show slash radio show. Here it is today, just freshly printed. Fox News host Tucker Carlson appeared on right-wing conspiracy enthusiast Alex Jones' radio show Friday. And the reason that's such a big deal, folks, is Raw Story's probably written, let's not exaggerate, 200 news articles about me over the years. They've been forced to retract stuff officially before and apologize uh, and they know how big the show is. That's why they cover it for the White House and Media Matters on a weekly basis. And they know full well we're on all over the country and they hate it. And they know full well we have over a million viewers and listeners per hour. That's a very conservative number. You're actually able to find it from Sunday, print it off. Here it is, internet only. And they have now changed it to saying radio talk show host. See, this, this just... Here it is. This just absolutely illustrates the total Decepticon level of these people. There you go. Right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, internet only. Now, notice it's been memory hold. They didn't tell you they corrected it. They just changed it to say Alex Jones's radio show. Radio show. Look, internet only radio show. Watch it again. Radio show. Internet only radio show. And folks, he's counting on you being dumb. He's up there going, ha, the Democrats connected to the Klan. Ha, 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 buying, buying off the new immigrant people to control things. How ridiculous. Oh, and next he's going to say birds nest in trees. <laughs> next he's going to say that Ronald McDonald's a clown. Next he's going to say I'm a clown, uh, Ed Schultz. This is the type of stuff that we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sick of it. You people are the party of the Klan. You're total race baiters. It's all you do. You're disgusting. You're ruining the country with the Republican leadership. And I'm tired of you. We're going to start the next hour, get into the stock market, Ukraine news, your phone calls. Got a guest popping in for 10 minutes. He's been victorious against the NSA and more. Briefly, if you want to fund us, because we're not funded like MSNBC with stimulus money or NPR with 400, 500 mil uh, taxpayer money and Rockefeller Foundation money, tax exempt money. We're funded by high quality water filters, pro pure, pro one system, best price out there, promo code water, 10% off, infowarsstore.com. We're funded by the Made in America Molon Lobby men and women shirts that I believe are the best looking Molon Lobby come and take it shirts ever. You can see Leanne McAdoo up there on the site uh, modeling that in the women's shirt with the gold foil look. It is gold foil, Made in America. The best women's gun shirt ever. Infowarsstore.com. Find the Made in America area at maiden1776.com. I'll lead you there. You can find the InfoWarsLife.com, Nason Iodine, Survival Shield, Fluoride Shield, Super Mill Vitality, still 15% off. I'm deciding to extend that out, maybe even a few more weeks. You've got the Navy SEAL made bottle breachers, the George Washington belt buckles, and other pro liberty information at InfoWarsStore.com. So get in there and fund the revolution for liberty. InfoWarsStore.com. They hate it. They hate your free will. They hate you supporting us. They hate you spreading the word. They hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I hate you, Grand Dragon scum. I'm coming for you. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate.
Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. 